here's some tips for setting up for red blood cells in salt water. Each group is going to get a section of dialysis tubing about 24 inches long and the group will need to cut that into three equal pieces, so about eight inches long. Once you've got those three pieces, um, to be able to work with the dialysis tubing, we need to soak it in some distilled water. So we're going to head and drop it in distilled water, and you're going to leave it there for about 10 minutes. All right, so after about 10 minutes, you can get one of the pieces of tubing out and go to the end and sort of rub it back and forth between your fingers, and it will open up at the end. And then you can take the blunt end of a pipette and use that to gently work the tubing open. Don't have to go all the way through because what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot at the end. You'll need a little bit of room to get that knot, so make sure you have plenty of space. to end up with a knot as close to the end as you can get and pull it as tight as you can. And once you get the first one completed, you can go and do that with the other two pieces. So just as an example, we're going to have some distilled water. That's the water that's going to go into the cell. And then of course, it's red blood cells and salt water. So we have salt water that we will immerse the cells in once they're completed. Take one of the pieces of dialysis tubing, go ahead and work that in back open. It is a little sticky sometimes. Some people find it useful to use a small funnel to help hold that open. And you're just going to put in enough distilled water to create a nice cell, keeping in mind that you will need quite a bit of an end to tie that second knot. Once you get that second knot in there, pull it tight, and eventually, once your students move forward with the investigation, they're going to immerse the cell in the salt water. So once you have this first one made, you're going to go ahead and repeat this process with the other two pieces of tubing. And so your student groups will now have three cells to use in their investigation.